everywhere you look and read, they say home prices are going down. But in fact, real estate's local, and we have some towns going up as well as some going down. So how has Massachusetts fared in the first five and a half months of 2023? It's a great question, and today we're going to tackle the top 10 towns that have seen the biggest price corrections year to date in 2023. But first, hey, it's Jeff Chubb. I'm a recovering investment banker. Turned real estate agent. I've sold more than a thousand houses. If you have any real estate questions whatsoever, then know I'm here to help. Real quick. All these stats are pulled from the dominant MLS in Massachusetts, which is MLS PIN. This is for single family homes with towns that have more than 10 sales in the first five and a half months for either of the years in 2022 and 2023, which even then I felt was a little tight, but anything less just made me believe there wasn't enough data to provide for a true clear analysis. Now on to the list. Number 10 is Bolton, Massachusetts, which is a rural town located in the central part of the state. It is surrounded by picturesque landscapes, rolling hills, and tranquil countryside. Bolton is home to approximately 5,100 people. Now, people say it's the town's scenic beauty, rich history, and sense of community that make it an appealing destination. The average sales price in Bolton dropped to $867,000 off of 15 sales in the first five and a half months of 2023. Now, this is compared to the $1.029 million on 13 sales in 2022, which means that Bolton has seen a 15.8% price correction year to date. Now, number nine is Carlisle, Massachusetts, and it's situated approximately 20 miles southwest of Boston, which approximately 5,300 people calling at home. Now, Carlisle is home to a rural scenic landscape that includes picturesque farms, rolling hills, and extensive conservation lands. This town offers residents and visitors alike a range of outdoor recreation activities, which include an extensive network of trails where people can enjoy hiking, horseback riding, and cross-country skiing. It's all important to note that the Carlisle Public School System is a highly regarded program. Now, Carlisle has seen home values decrease by 16% year-to-date, with the average sale price being $1.327 million on 19 sales versus $1.58 million on 13 sales in 2022. Number 8, Foxborough, Massachusetts, is not only home to the New England Patriots, but also home to an additional 18,000 residents. It's situated about 22 miles southwest of Boston. Now, the town offers more than just sporting events, concerts, and other entertainment activities, what they're really become known for. It also offers recreation opportunities, which include beautiful parks, nature trails, and conservation areas, which leads to great hiking, mountain biking, and camping. People who live here consider it as a community that offers a mix of suburban charm, but yet access to world-class entertainment and sports. Foxborough has seen the average sales price fall from $766,000 on 36 home sales in the first five and a half months of 2022 to $643,000 on 28 sales in 2023. This makes for a 16.1% decrease in the average sales price. Now, number seven is Rochester, Massachusetts. Now, Rochester is a town located about 50 miles south of Boston with approximately 5,400 people calling at home. This town is constantly striving to preserve their natural beauty while also protecting numerous historic sites and buildings throughout the entire town. Farms and open spaces are some of the things that this town does best. Rochester has seen a 17% decrease in the average price of homes, going from $674,000 on 14 home sales to $559,000 on 19 home sales in 2023. And that leads us to number six, which is Belmont, Massachusetts. Belmont offers a vibrant downtown with area shops, restaurants, and local businesses, but also has some great parks and green spaces to explore. People that live here love Belmont as you get the suburban feel with great schools, but are very close to the city of Boston. In the first five and a half months of 2022 and 2023, Belmont has seen 30 home sales close, but the average sales price has fallen by 17.1% from $1.825 million in 2022 to $1.513 million in 2023. Real quick, my shameless plug, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home that I would love to chat with you, reach out to me today. And now on to number five, which is Needham, Massachusetts. And it's approximately 10 miles west of Boston with approximately 31,000 people calling at home. They are known for their excellent schools and charming New England feel. Needham offers a great downtown, but also has several beautiful parks and recreational areas. Needham is a top commuter choice as you can jump on the Mass Pike with relative ease, but also has commuter rail access. In the first five and a half months of 2022, we saw 77 homes close with an average sales price of $1.741 million. And this is compared to 2023 when 60 homes closed for an average sales price of $1.434 million. This means that we've seen a 17.6% pricing correction in Needle. 
And number four on the list is Dennis, Massachusetts. It's a charming town located on the Cape. It's on the eastern side of the Cape between Yarmouth and Harwich with an approximate population of 14,000 people. Now, this number swells in the summer months. Dennis is known for its stunning beaches, scenic landscapes, and rich maritime history. Dennis has seen home prices go down by 18.4% year over year. There were 67 home sales in the first five and a half months of 2022 for an average sales price of $860,000, which is compared to the 46 home sales with an average sales price of $701,000 in 2023. And number three on the list is Granby, Massachusetts, which is located approximately 15 miles northeast of Springfield with a population of approximately 6,300 people. Now, the town features rolling hills, picturesque farms, and an extensive amount of conservation lands. Living in Granby offers residents a serene and peaceful lifestyle. There were 21 sales in Granby for an average sales price of $373,000 in the first five and a half months of 2022. This is compared to the 17 home sales for an average sales price of $290,000 in 2023. This means that home prices have decreased by 22.4% year to date. Now, Boxborough, Massachusetts are in the number two spot on the list, and it's located approximately 25 miles west of Boston, with approximately 5,000 people calling this home. Boxborough is another community with rural landscapes and a peaceful atmosphere. Now, the town features a mix of preserved open spaces, which include conservation land, parks, and trails. Boxborough has seen the average price decrease by 32% year-to-date, with an average sales price of $1.09 million on 13 sales in 22 versus $1.292 million in 17 sales in 2023. Now, I decided to dig a little bit deeper on this and just see what was going on. And it's a disappearing act for the high-end sales year-to-date. There have been zero homes sold in Boxborough over $1 million in 2023. And this is compared to the five of the 13 sales being over $1 million in 2022. And that leads us to the number one town with the biggest price correction in the state of Massachusetts, which is Cohasset, Massachusetts. And that's located 20 miles southeast of Boston with about 8,000 people calling this home. People moved to Cohasset for its scenic beauty, historic charm, and strong sense of community. Now, the town is home to a mix of picturesque beaches and conservation land. Living here offers residents a quintessential New England coastal lifestyle while also being within close proximity to the city of Boston. Now, the average sales price in Cohasset was $1.958 million or 25 home sales in the first five and a half months of 2022. This is compared to the average price of $1.292 million or 17 home sales in 2023. This means that the average sales price in Cohasset has gone down by an astounding 34%. Now, time to do a little bit more digging to figure out exactly what's going on. And in 2022, eight of the 25 sales were over $2 million. It's only two of the 17 sales in 2023. And those sales were $2.2 million and $2.5 million, compared to a $4.2 million sale, or a $5.75 million sale, or a $6.75 million sale in 2022. So that brought me to wanting to view all of the Massachusetts data all over again. In the first five and a half months of 2022, there were 1,825 sales, over $1 million in Massachusetts. This means that nearly 14% of all sales were over $1 million. And this is compared to the 1,533 sales in 2023 on 10,308 units. This means that in the first five and a half months of 2023, 14.9% of all home sales were over $1 million. So then I thought, maybe it's just the ultra luxury market that's seeing diminished sales. The data says differently. In both 2022 and 2023, sales over $2 million equated to 3.4% of every sale in Massachusetts. My theory going into this was a decrease in luxury sales was going to push down home prices. And the data, well, it's telling us differently. That is not what is going on. There you have it. Those are the top 10 biggest losers in Massachusetts year to date in 2023. Wondering who the biggest winners are? Well, then make sure you check out the video at the end of this video because we go over the 10 biggest winners. Also, if you're wanting the up-to-date report that lists out all of the towns and their year-to-date values, then email me at jeff at boston2.com. Speaking of my contact emails, if you're thinking about buying or selling a home in the next 9 or 90 days, then I would love to chat with you. Real estate, it's my passion, and I love talking to people about their real estate goals. You can find all of my contact information in the description below, or you can reach out to me at youtuberealestateagent.com. Questions or comments about any of this market data, then throw them in the comments section below. You take the time to watch the video, so well, I'm always going to take the time to respond to you. Until next time.